So there's this one film I wanted to talk about, but I was going to rewatch it and write some things down about the, the director and shit, but I remember most of it. <laughs> So the film I wanted to talk about this time is Blade Runner. You can't see it. This is Blade Runner, the director's cut. It was, it, on IMDb it says it's perfected in the 2007 final cut. I don't give a shit about the final cut, bitch. I got the director's cut, the original cut of the movie. I like things that are considered original. And the, uh, the director's cut is more than enough for me. It has all the original cast members. Like, what the, what the fuck was his name? Uh, you got Sean Young, or James Almost, Daryl Hannon, Rutka Hawa, and Harrison Ford. Now, uh, this movie, I can't remember exactly, but it's somewhere between 120 and 30 on the IMDb tw Top 250, which is pretty good. Mm, it's not as good as On the Waterfront. It's not as good as Patton. They could have been a few more action sequences inside, inside of it, but... There's some, a couple of things I want to say, because I kind of found out Ridley Scott's a racist. The guy that directed this... <sighs> Fucking shit of a fuck. The guy that directed this film, Ridley Scott, if you go on to IMDb Trivia, you can see that uh, he said he liked working with English crews because when you ask them to do something, they'll say, yes, governor, and go do it. So, the cast members, yeah, I mean, the, the English crew, the, the American crew that he was working with for Blade Runner, they actually printed out these t-shirts saying, yes, governor, I'll kiss your ass. But it's gonna cost you. Boom! So, the film, yeah, I mean, if you've seen Blade Runner, it's. It's pre. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Byron James is in it. Byron James is like. He's one of the. He's a guy that I feel should have been mentioned a little bit more, like he was in Tango and Cash. And he was the star of Sam Raimi's Crime Wave. Now, have you seen Crime Wave? You should check it out. It's weird. Yeah, I think it's on Netflix. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But, so Blade Runner is... It's a classical film. Ridley Scott's racist. Racism doesn't affect the directing at all. But I want to say one little thing. If I can find a film I have in here. Because I can't remember the goddamn name. I'm mentioning Escape from New York is because is the set, the model of New York that was used in that movie was repainted and reused for that one. But I use this one again because this is a, like a cardboard one. It's, it's I have to go back to the fucking light. You see, it's just a and it's uh, this piece of cardboard crap holds it together. And, well, I, actually, the reason I kind of like these is because they don't have just plastic. It's just the booklet is here with the scenes. It's a great film. If you like science fiction, you'll like this. Yes, so I can guarantee you that. But most of the people that are going to see this probably have already seen this film. I'm making all my fucking, all my talks just completely pointless. Well, I'll, there's no point in going into the plot. Mostly everybody knows the plot. Okay, 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 I'll go into it a little bit. Daryl Han and, and Rutger Hauer and Byron James and one other person. I can't remember the cast member's name, but... Before replica, play four replicants, which are just they're just replicants of humans. But when you, like when you take a gun and go, 
<laughs> you not kill any human, and if you kill a replicant, you... I mean, don't quote me on this, but I think they... You don't get charged for murder if you kill a replicant. I can't remember. But mm, four replicants to hijack a ship out in space, and then come back to Earth to find their maker, and, well... Harrison Ford gets involved. Great film. You should check it out. Maybe, maybe not that accessible, but you can at least download it. Oh, oh shit. Well, at least check it out on Netflix. Adios.